All right, time to get the old shuffling done. So I gotta get this rock star over here, start working on it, that one over there. My wife don't want me working on this. It's too close to her car. So I gotta move it over. So, which piece of cake, I ain't got no steering, ain't got no brakes. So, ain't got no drive lines. Is that turn the tires by hand, hook up a strap, drag it out, put the rocks are, and then back it in, back in. I don't know, you'll see. Oh, I'll set the camera up here. You might catch some of it. I said it before but it's sitting a half inch lower on this side than this side half inch or something one side is 15 16 the other side is 3 16 so three quarters of an inch lower on this side than that side measured everything can't figure it out so I'm thinking one of the springs I ordered is bad not matching the other one so what we're gonna do Let's take this leaf spring, put it on that one, that one, and that one. Remeasure and see if that's what it is. I don't know any other way to do it. So <clears throat> stay tuned for the, well, you don't need to watch. I'm gonna turn it off. I'll turn it back on a little bit when we get going. All right, well, we got everything unbolted out of here. And man, these leaf springs really flex. Uh, I jacked it up like tires almost foot up in the air and dropped it down and tires went all the way and touched the ground i figured it wasn't much pressure on them but still all kinds of pressure pulled the bolts out and leaf springs all smacked all the way up to the top on each side so i pulled the balance in out of the tires i'll drop it like two inches or so we'll see if that's enough if not i'll pull the tires off and lower it down ah she's a flexy girl oh all right well get back to this swapping the leaf springs around here all right was that rough down there huh did that do it yeah. oh it did it was perfect all right come around this side look here, grab grab it back to Thank you. 
Sony Maya is trying to blow as much as I can. Alright, put 40 pounds and both of that tires. He's, he's not like a pretty tough guy. I like to see someone tighten the bowl as tight as I can. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's also what you would say. Right. I think you said that before. Oh, I'm sure I have. <laughs> concrete.
All right, well, me and Matthew just jacked this thing all up, swapped the springs from side to side. I, don't know, I just told you all that. I figured to tell you again. So, didn't fix nothing. So, it's still sagging over on that side. So, can't be the pads or anything I did. So, must be the rocks are. Must have a little bit of a bent frame. I mean, what were these guys doing underground with this thing? All right. It is smashed in places. I've never think, seen things smashed up underneath. I mean, it's like it rock crawled over the gnarliest boulders ever. Uh, looks like they jumped it and bent it. I mean, <clears throat> got me? So I looked online all kinds of places trying to find pictures of, you know, these things in underground mine. I can't find any. Well, I probably know why. They're unsafe operating these things down there because there's no reason for a bent frame and all this. But heck, you know, it is what it is. But I don't know. We have simple fixes to simple problems. So this side's half inch lower or three quarter inch lower on this side. I'll just put either a spacer in here or a little longer shackle or extra little shimmer or leaf spring. I three different places I can space it and make it perfect. Least my problems, I just need to know what the problem was. Ain't nothing I can gonna fix. So, all right, well, we got all that tightened back down and I'm waiting for my tires to get here. They'll be here for like two more weeks. $2,800 for my tires. Not counting wheels or mountain or $2,800. Woo! Yeah. They're going to be nice, so I'm really going to enjoy them. So, all right, well, I think I got some electrical left here to do. I'm going to go ahead and button all this stuff up and hook up a few things and get this sucker running. All right, stay tuned.